Share prices continued to tumble. Lehman Brothers was forced to declare itself bankrupt. The largest single point drop. The regulators, they had the power to do every case that I made when I was state attorney general. They just didn't want to. We are watching this tsunami coming. They were having massive private gains at public loss. The financial engineer built dreams. But when those dreams turn out to be nightmares, other people pay for it. Bear Stearns, Goldman Sachs, Lehman Brothers, they knew what was happening. What do you think about selling securities which your own people think are crap as a hypothetical? No, this is real. What do you think of Wall Street incomes these days? Excessive. By 1986, he was making millions of dollars and thought it was because he was smart. At some point, I used the word Armageddon. These people are risk takers, they're impulsive. I see a lot of cocaine use, prostitution. So do these guys know that they were doing something dangerous? I think they did. Um, I don't hear confessions. There's nothing we can trust anymore. We had a whole group of people looking at this for whatever Excuse reason. Me, you can't be serious. If you would have looked, you would have found things. It's a Wall Street government. Why do you think there isn't a more systematic investigation being undertaken? Because then you'll find the culprits. I don't believe I have to discuss that with you. You come to us today telling us we're sorry, we won't do it again. Well, I have some people in my constituency that actually robbed some of your banks. Okay. And they said... Um, and what was your reaction when you learned of it? Holy cow. Paulson and Bernanke had not consulted with other governments and didn't understand the consequences of foreign bankruptcy Thank laws. Lehman Brothers London continued to empty that... Under British law... Lehman's London office had to be closed immediately. All transactions came to a halt, and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of transactions. The hedge funds who had had assets with Lehman in London discovered overnight, to their complete horror, that they couldn't get those assets back. One of the points of the hub failed, and that had huge knock-on effects around the system. The oldest money market fund in the nation wrote off roughly three-quarters of a billion dollars in bad debt issued by the now bankrupt Lehman Brothers. This was a bank robbery that was not committed by somebody walking into a bank with a gun. This was a bank robbery committed by the guy who owned the bank. And before he robbed his own bank, he took some of the money and he paid off the police so that they didn't come when he robbed the bank. In the 1980s, the financial industry exploded. The investment banks went public, giving them huge amounts of stockholder money. People on Wall Street started getting rich. Nobody tried to prevent me from making the movie. Um, no. Uh, the only thing that happened uh, was that um, someone from the Obama administration uh, did call me up, and they, they didn't threaten me at all, but they did, they did kind of imply that I wasn't going to have any friends anymore. Uh, uh, too bad. <laughs> You know, this, this, maybe this is a little immature of me, but I have to say that sometimes uh, confronting these people was fun. Uh, you know, I, I, I was thinking, you know, you've been used to getting away with this for a long time. Nobody has ever challenged you. And I'm going to challenge you. And I'm going to make this movie. So, you know, sometimes I have to say... I enjoyed it. I think what should be publicly available is whenever anybody does research on the topic that they disclose if they have any financial conflict with that research. But if I recall, there is no policy to that effect. I can't imagine anybody not doing that. In terms of putting it in a paper, you would, it would be significant professional sanction for failure to do that. I didn't see any place in the study where you indicated that you had been paid uh, by the Icelandic Chamber of Commerce to produce it. Um, no, I don't, you know. Okay. It's extremely difficult to take something complicated and technical and and make it clear and simple. That's a, that's a very hard thing to do. And we thought a lot about it. We tried very hard. I still see some ways in which maybe we could have done a better job, but uh, I hope 
that we have been able, one of the goals, my goals in making the film, was to show people that, you know, yes, the details of finance are complicated, but actually what went on here was really very simple. And uh, so I, I hope that, it, that the film does that. And sometimes they say it very directly. Sometimes they say, you know, you need us. We're the only people who understand that, which, you know, frankly isn't true, actually. It really is not true. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do with the film is to show, you know, yes, this is sort of complicated, but it's not that complicated. And you can also do it honestly. You don't have to be a crook to do this. In many things, you know, everybody has some degree of responsibility, yes. Uh, in, in democracies, everybody has a responsibility to be aware of things and to vote and to be careful and to care. Um, but. Uh, some people have a lot more responsibility than others, and the people who robbed the bank have more responsibility than the people who were walking by on the street when the bank got robbed. When were you first told that Lehman, in fact, was going to go bankrupt? Uh, after the fact. After the fact. Wow. Okay. Um, and what was your reaction when you learned of it? Holy cow. First of all, I'm, I'm not so pessimistic. I think that maybe they and other people uh, can have some influence, and I think that there is still some reason to believe that something will be done about this. I think a lot of people are getting upset about it, and uh, the countries that were responsible, especially America, they're very imperfect democracies, but they are still democracies, and so I still think that it matters that people speak out. I myself, I have to say, was very surprised at how direct they were. Um, one thing that I regret about the film is that it, it can't be six hours long. Uh, I interviewed each of them for over an hour, and they said many very interesting things, many very direct and powerful things, um, which I couldn't include in the film just because of length. Um, but I, I think that both of those people are very, very impressive people, and uh, and I do think that they are doing good things. A lack of oversight in Washington and on Wall Street is exactly what got us into this mess. After taking office, Obama spoke of the need to reform the financial industry. We want a systemic risk regulator, increased capital requirements. We need a consumer financial protection agency. We need to change Wall Street's culture. But in its first year, the Obama administration did not enact a single major financial reform. Addressing Obama and, quote, regulatory reform, my response, if it was one word, would be, ha. There's very little reform. How come? It's a Wall Street government. Over the last 30 years, in, in America, in England, in a few other countries, um, finance has really taken over. and. And I think that it's a very bad thing. You know, finance has a place in the world, but as Christine Lagarde says in the film, it's, it's a service industry. It should serve other people who do productive things. And, and by 2006, uh, the financial sector was 40% of total corporate profits in America. And that's insane. That's just insane. Uh, it happened over a quarter century. Um, I don't think that it has to continue that way. I think that there's... If people get angry enough, we'll change it. And to be very direct about it, through the impact of their behavior on uh, the poor people of this world, they killed more people than were killed in 9-11. People, this crisis caused people in Asia and Africa to starve.